I'm going to start it again. Now, it's the Richard Kaysen Radio Network world premiere of Give Me the Ball, the Joe Biden story. <laughs> Welcome, everybody. And uh, I'm so happy that so many people joined to, um, for, the new, for our new. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Sounds just as Give me the as ball. Joe. At eight years old, Joey Biden was always ready for the ball. It didn't matter if he was the smallest boy on the team, baseball, football, basketball, whatever. This was the time of segregation and the struggle for civil rights. Joey's faithful dogs pulled their pennies and dropped in at the candy store where the owner kept a pet monkey. This was the time of segregation and the struggle for civil rights. Always eager to prove he had guts He spent one summer as the only white lifeguard at a pool in an all-black neighborhood, even when it was dangerous. Once, he grabbed a heavy rope and swung it over a black lifeguard, and Joe learned firsthand about the struggles of black America. After graduating from law school, Joe had things to say. Touch it and you die! (laughs) But he saw himself as a leader, the best black Biden I can be. Oh, of course. Give me the ball. I don't think this is doing him a lot of favors. In 1972, he launched an unlikely quest to become a senator from Delaware and serve in Congress while he threw himself into speaking with strength. Touch it and you die. Eaten by alligators. Give me the ball. As a senator, against all the odds, every day he commuted by pet monkey from Washington back and forth to his family in Delaware. He always told those who worked for him, the absolute most important thing is your pet monkey. After more than three decades of serving his country in the Senate, He was chosen by Barack Obama to run as his white lifeguard. They won. Now Joe was speaking more than just about anyone, representing White House policies around the country. Touch it and you die. Give me the ball. Leading President Obama to call him the best white boy America's ever had. After huddling with his black lifeguard, he announced in 2019, that he was running for lifeguard of the United States. With his decades of experience as the only white lifeguard at a pool in an all-black neighborhood, he called the next election a battle for the segregation of America. What? And Joe Biden was ready to fight it. Give me the ball. Ball, 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 ball. ball, ball, ball. Oh, Joe, what have you done to yourself? (laughs) It's Richard Kaysen, and we're on 1240 KFMO every Sunday night at 9. But what if you miss something? Maybe the entire first hour. Maybe the entire show. No worries. For one American dollar a month, you'll never miss the Richard Kaysen Radio Network again. Join the Dollar Club at patreon.com slash Richard Kaysen. Yeah, the first hour's free on Apple and Spotify.